from the software studio and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Overdrive Media Console. Overdrive is mainly used for um, uh, putting uh, ebooks and audiobooks online. Um, so like you can see that here's some of the books that um, a lot of places have. So like The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Next Always by Nora Robertson. I don't know. The list, I guess, goes on and on. And then, yeah, they got audiobooks too. So, um, uh, today we're just gonna download it. So, up at the top, software slash app. And then just Overdrive Media Console. And then, so you're gonna choose your version. Uh, they've just came out with the Mac version just a little while ago. But the Windows they've had out for a while. Um, uh, you can also choose it for mobile, so for your phone, which is handy because you can like download stuff on your Wi-Fi at home and then take it with you to go. Um, if you uh, you can also just download uh, Overdrive for your Windows or Mac, and then load it into um, iTunes or Windows Media Player to then transfer it to your iPhone or your iPad or your Windows 7 phone, or you can even just from uh, once you've uh, downloaded the format that you need, you can put it to your Android or Blackberry too. So um, here's Windows here. So I run my uh, HP Pavilion DV6. I run Windows 7. So I'm going to download it for Windows. So uh, I've already gotten this. Uh, this is something that my mom likes to do, or le my mom wants to listen to the overdrive books as she walks the dog so uh, every day she walks the dog in the morning and she likes to listen to something so the installation process is really easy just take a quick brief look through the terms of service and then agree to them and so on and so forth once it's um, uh, completely installed then it'll pop up a desktop icon um, if we just go to, uh, it's a play symbol and then it has kind of like an electron trail flowing around it. So uh, we'll just go back to Overdrive. Okay, so um, just in case you were wondering, I just press uh, the Windows button and tab, and that's how you do the screen change. Um, so you're going to go online to the uh, library center, so it depends on where you are, that, um, and so you'll log in, um, depends, some of them you need to uh, have an Adobe account, I'm not sure why, um, but, and then you need to enter your library card and a couple things like that, um, and then you can go through and choose your books. So if you can just give me one sec. Uh, pause. Okay, so I'm back. I've just logged in. Um, and so now it'll show you a list of the different books that your library has. So um, let's just go to this in Zanzville. Um, I'm just downloading one that will have a copy available. Okay, so um, we're just going to go. You can see that there's Overdrive MP3. Okay, MP3s work on pretty much anything. So it even says here it'll work on your PC, your Mac. You can burn it to a CD so you can like play it in the car. Um, there's a Windows Media Audio, so for MP3 players. If you even hover over, it'll say what it's for. Um, you can put it on your iPod, and you can put it on your MP3 player. Um, so then there's the WMA file, the Windows Media Auto Audio file, uh, um, and you can only use it on PC. Um, you can burn it to a CD, but not all cars have WMA. Um, uh, then there's, yeah, WMA, obviously, 
um, and uh, you can transfer it to your iPod or iPhone. So for simplicity's sakes, we're just going to do the MP3 audiobook because MP3 works with everything, or almost everything. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to go click on My Cart. I'm not sure if this is the exact same way that all of the libraries are like set up, so if someone is watching from the States, theirs might look a little bit different, or maybe a lot different. And so you can check 7-day period or 14-day checkout. I'm only going to check out the 7-day because I really couldn't care less about listening to this. So then you're just going to confirm the checkout. And then you're just going to click on the download. And Overdrive works kind of like a torrent um, like system. Okay, What you do is you download the ODM file, which is kind of like your torrent. And then you open up in um, Overdrive, which is kind of like your uh, uTorrent. And then when we find the... And then when we go and we get the, um, oh, lost my thought. All oh, right. Um, when so then when we go in and get we get the ODM file, or as I'm comparing it to a torrent file, um, it's going to download just, or it's going to make a new connection to the internet and download it, like download the full thing. So I'm just trying to save the spot. Let's just go desktop. Okay, and so you just check all the parts, and you just click OK. So now you can see it's loading down here at the bottom. And in the meantime, I'm going to plug in my mom's MP3 player. Just give you a quick showing of how. So here's my mom's MP3 player right now. She's got two Nora Roberts books. And so you just go to the desktop. And here's a nice folder in Zansville. So here's the MP3 parts. So you've got your cover in case you want your iPod. So when you're listening it, you see the book cover. All you really need is the uh, MP3 parts. It's still downloading. Okay, so it's still downloading all the parts. But anyways, um, so what you'll end up doing is you'll you just need to drag the mp3 parts and you just need to drag it over to the mp3 player okay so over to the mp3 player and then um, it will work in order like the way that you want it so you can put multiple audiobooks and it will play in order um, and so seeing that I have no interest in this book uh, this concludes today's tutorial about Overdrive Media Console. Uh, thanks, like, and subscribe.